look after the pounds and the millions, it seems, will look after themselves. According to this year's Sunday Times Rich List, the country's wealthiest have seen their riches grow to record levels. This at the end of a week which saw Britain enter double-dip recession. Tom Clark looks at the growing divide between the rich and poor. And a warning, there is some flash photography in this report. Welcome to Kensington Palace Gardens. Average house price, £20 million. You won't see them putting the bins out, but several residents are on today's Times Rich list, one of them in top spot. That's steel magnate Lakshmi Mittal, with nearly £13 billion. Also in the top ten, Roman Abramovich, with £9.5 billion. And the Duke of Westminster, with £7.3 billion worth of property at number seven. But we're not doing any photography on the road. Though technically as public as Piccadilly Circus, they won't let us or anyone else film on Kensington Palace Gardens. If your name's not down, you're not driving along Kensington Palace Gardens. You're certainly not taking a photograph. There are a few better examples of the gap between Britain's richest and poorest. And according to today's rich list, that gap is getting even bigger. Britain's thousand richest now have the highest combined wealth ever, £414 billion, up nearly 5% on last year. Whereas the average income for the rest of us is 26000 a year down nearly 2% in 2011. We aren't all in it together quite clearly. Some people are doing very nicely at the same time that most of us are feeling the pinch. And while, while we, no one would argue with the idea that successful businessmen and women make a decent amount of money, it, it's bound to make us feel uneasy but, and make us ask questions about that, the health of our society when the rich are clearly getting a lot richer at the same time that the poor are getting poorer and all of us are feeling the pinch. In fact, the economic downturn has forced those of us nowhere near the rich list to change our shopping habits. So much so, it's putting others further up it. In the grim economic climate, many of us are being driven to the discount stores, driving up their owners' profits. Meet the discount millionaires, some of this year's biggest climbers. Take Will Adley, owner of cut price superstores Donnell Mill. He's now worth more than 700 million. Chris Dawson's The Range Stores have made him 70 million wealthier than last year. And the Taylor brothers behind Pound Stretcher are still in the top 500. Again this year, British based tycoons are getting richer quicker than foreign ones. With that, the complaint successive governments are besotted by the super rich while cutting the squeezed middle. But not everyone thinks that's a bad thing. These people contribute enormously to society. If we look at the top 1% of earners in Britain, for example, they earn about 12% of the money, but contribute 28% of all income tax. So the schools and hospitals that, that most of us use, even if the super rich don't, are largely paid for by the highly affluent. And I want more millionaires in Britain, not fewer. And if you think you've got no chance of ever making the list, don't despair completely. This year's includes a record eight lottery winners, like the Weirs from Ayrshire at number 462.